Hey guys, this is uh, Richard from Wild Sheet Tech. Right, got another video for you. This is the review of the Aqua 240 ARGB from Cougar. So, let's get right into it. Right, so I've got benchmarks, but I want to have a chat first about the, uh, perf about the quality as well as performance. Now, um, I won this as part of a uh, contest during the E-Technics meetup for Patreon. And uh, it was a questionnaire. I won it. I wanted an, an extra AIO due to the fact that obviously I could test if someone sends me a 280, I've got three different sizes. I've already got a 360 from Be Quiet. Now I've got a 240 from Cougar. And if someone sends me a 280, I've got a, I've got all three to comparison. Now obviously they don't do they don't do a lot of 120s because 240s is basically the standard of these days. So yeah, right. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you what. Uh, I will put a uh, actually I put a showcase part of the video in here so you can have a look what it looks like like lit up. <laughs> And uh, it's very nice. I will say the RGB aspect is quite nice, but the only problem I don't like about the about this AIO is the connector for the fans. Now it is the RGB, but it's that horrible, 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 horrible connector. It's that connector. It's not an ARGB. This is a, a DRGB or an ASUS bloody uh, Seuss thing Seuss header so I've got one on my motherboard but I didn't want to use that at the end of the day the only reason I I like ARGB is the fact that you can control it through the ARGB header on your motherboards now this is a very horrible connector I remember having it when I had my Fantex uh, N2 Lux the case had um, I bought some uh, RGB strips to go on the side of the the side of the case if you see any of my previous videos from the last two years you've probably seen the light illumination of one of them well it had this similar connector and i couldn't take it from i couldn't take it when i transferred into this case because the connector is a four pin and this is a three pin so i don't like that connector at the end of the day if you spend it I spent £15 on these RGB strips. Expensive, and they're just sitting up there doing nothing. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in the benchmark graphs that I, a graph that I've done. Now, I've only run it, I haven't run any games because there's no point i mean unless it's like a C unless it's a game that really hits the cpu then there's no point and not ev not there's no game out there that pegs the cpu there's no game out there that pegs the cpu at 100 percent. there isn't not even crisis did that it was main graphics and that's the problem with modern games is it's more graphical de demanding than cpu yeah it has gone better but that's why i didn't add them so i've added some benchmarks i'm gonna add them to the uh i'm gonna add them now and then i'm gonna do a showcase and then we will do the uh the last part then where i either recommend it or don't so Continue to watch for the benchmarks. Let's go. the benchmarks as you can see the performance isn't bad for a 240 AIO 
I was pleasantly surprised by the fact of the performance. I understand that my system is a Ryzen 3600. I understand that it doesn't generate a lot of heat, but when you put PBO on, it does. It starts generating more heat. It's because the, the motherboard and the the uh, CPU starts pumping in voltage to the CPU, which does generate a lot of heat. Remember, voltage is what generates the heat. It isn't, it, well, it is frequency, but it's also the voltage is the most important. So, uh, the performance on the graphs I did. Now, Blender, was I was quite surprised in. It actually was the same as an air cooler. Now, yes, the Dark Rock Pro 4 is better, but there's only a 2-degree de two difference. And this is a 240 AIO from a brand that I know. I know who Cougar is, but I've never used one of their, their products. Now... For there's only one thing I will say I don't like about this product is that the pump makes a horrible sound when it turns on. Honest now, I know that every pump in an AIO makes a sound when it turns on, but this one makes one hell of a screeching sound. I mean literally. It's like the water it's it's like the coolant inside hadn't hit the pump. Which is quite strange because the way I had it in my system, the rad was above the uh, the pump. So it was quite odd. It made a very horrible screeching sound. Uh, I don't know what that is, but obviously it might just be a problem with the fact that I've got one. That is a problem with this one, but who knows? I don't know. If anyone else has experienced any of that type of uh, problem, leave me a link. Uh, leave a comment down below because I wouldn't mind knowing and perhaps if I can reach out to Cougar and see if that this is an actual ongoing problem. Now what it does is the pump makes a very horrible screeching sound. When you boot it up, it will make a horrible screech sound like there's no water at all in the pump. I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's a problem with the pump or whatever, but... Other than that, I actually like the AIO. It's, obviously, it's quite small in my case. <clears throat> but, obviously, it's still a good product for it. Now, I haven't been able to find a price. Because I think Cougar sells it on their websites. I haven't been able to f uh, find a price. Now, from what I remember, a 240 from MSI is around the £70 mark. So it's not going to be that much more. Is it worth the, that price? Uh, the performance, well, if you saw from the performance, gaming, on the other hand, was a lot better. Now, it all depends on what game you're going for. Now, with me, I usually play the WWE and stuff like that. I play a bit of CSGO on the weekends during game nights. But it doesn't peg the CPU as much. CSGO is a very demanding game for CPU-based, but it's obviously performed better on intel so yeah if you want it what i'll do is i'll have a look to see if i can find a link for you to buy it if you want to buy it that's great it does come with its own um rgb controller but it's a dinky little one i i recommend not to use it, it does come with a remote the remote is horrible i don't like the remote but that's just my personal opinion so yeah don't forget to subscribe because I've got the water cooling bill coming up very soon. And this is Richard from Welsh Tech. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Goodbye.